What's up everybody? I'm back here with another Reddit story and in this Reddit story we're gonna be listening to a cheating story. A story about cheating. Alright y'all this one's gonna get crazy but before y'all ended up listening to the story make sure y'all subscribe. It is free y'all. Make sure you sub end up subscribing. It is free. I post Reddit stories every single day so come join me on this journey of reading Reddit stories. Make sure you leave a like, comment, share this video, watch all the way to the end. Get this video pushed out so we can get to more people. By the time of recording this I'm at 897 subscribers. Let's get to 900 then the next goal 1000. Let's jump right into this Reddit story. So we got my husband told me why he cheated on me. Okay <laughs> let's see let's see. It just came to my attention that my husband has been cheating on me on and off for two years. He started cheating on me while I was pregnant because I didn't feel like having sex due to pregnancy symptoms. Girl, oh, that has to suck. Okay, sorry. He cheated on me with two different women. The first girl was a stranger he just met. I thought that's a teenager. I'm like, hold up, girl. No, no. Now we're in a different territory. Okay, a stranger he just met when he was out one night. But there's this one girl in particular that keeps having sex with and that he keeps having sex with. They've been friends with benefits for almost a year now. I asked my husband why, why would he do this to me? We have a family together, we built a life together and he threw away eight years for a girl that hasn't even graduated college yet. Well, he didn't throw away nothing because you didn't divorce him. So he's living the best of both worlds. That's why he's able to stay with you while also cheating because you're not, you're not calling on his BS. That's why anyone would stay in that situation if they're a cheater. If someone's a cheater and you're allowing it, Girl, he's gonna stay because he gets the both of the best of both worlds. You gotta end up giving him a reason to to pick, which granted he might pick that girl and it's okay. He said to me, she's beautiful, she's quiet, she's simple, she's not annoying, she doesn't nag me, she doesn't argue, she's not combative, she's not fat, she's not lazy, she's fun, she's spontaneous, I forget about my troubles when I'm around her, she makes life easier opposed to complicating it like you, she's just everything that you're not anymore, but you used to be, she's a younger version of you, she reminded you me of you 15 years ago. All right, so then let me jump into this part here. Yes, I understand. Okay, he's having a dream right now. So for you, you should be happy that even if he moves on and he dates her, it's not even gonna be real because the reason why she doesn't nag him, the reason why she isn't, you know, being combative, there's no arguments, is because they're not dating. All you're doing is having sex. That's why people that think like this are dumb because no, that relationship will not be good when you get with them because the same stuff is going to happen because now y'all are physically dating. Having sex and dating are two different things. So of course, she's not going to be any of those things. You can't use that as an excuse when, so you just expect, you just expect your wife, like whoever you're going to date, like if he leaves you and starts dating her, she's supposed to stay that way forever. Like, no, at the end of the day, y'all are now dating. There will be arguments. There will be some nagging. That is normal in a relationship. Unless it gets to obviously an extent to where it's like, okay, like, calm down. But communication. You're not going to go cheat with someone that doesn't do that because obviously she's not going to do that if you're just having sex. We got, I'm honestly still processing it. It doesn't feel like it's real. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up from this nightmare. Girl, but it's been real for years. What do you mean? I feel so bad about myself. Everything he said to me actually made me feel worse than when I found out about his affair. Girl, he's been doing this for years. It's real. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. He's been doing this for years. You keep saying, why did he do this to me? Because you keep staying with him. That's why he's doing it to you. You got to get yourself out of this situation. At some point, take accountability. Yeah, he's being crazy to you. He's trying to blame you, but it's not your fault he cheated. It is not your fault. He's just a bad man. But what is your fault is the fact that you are still there. The fact that you're still there. He's not going to change. He has the best of both worlds. You are at home. You probably cook. You probably clean. You probably take care of certain stuff. You probably even work a little bit, pay half of the bills. This man has that at home, which is great to him, but he can go over here and start fucking bitches. <laughs> so he's lit. Are you just allowing this man to be lit? You can't do that. That's why he's still with you. That's why he's still damaging his family. He's not even worried about the family. He's thinking about himself. He never cared about your kid because why would he be showing your kid or y'all kid this type of relationship? So like I said, you you messed up by staying with this man, but what you could do today to fix it is by leaving. Now, I don't know if you ended up leaving, not sure if there was an edit or not, but at the end of the day, you have to leave that situation. He will always stay the same. Even if he ends up cutting that girl off, he'll always do the same. And then what's even worse is he's never cut that girl off. So he's going to always be fucking that girl. And he's always going to love it. You know why? Because she, they're not in a relationship. He gets a dream life, the dream life with this girl. He thinks it's real, 
but when you end up leaving him and he tries to date her instant done it's not gonna work because now she's nagging now she's arguing now she's being combative yeah because that's what a relationship is dummy is he stupid let's get to these comments we got i'm in a similar position and my heart breaks for you i read this and realize we both deserve so much more you aren't breaking up your family by leaving he did when he cheated that's right too exactly don't feel like it's you that's breaking up the family he broke it up it's not nothing about you says your husband is awful cheating is bad enough but cheating on your pregnant wife carrying your child insanity that's what i'm saying bro people are insane op responded saying i can't believe he cheated on me when i was carrying his baby this is just all too much i don't even know what else to say i'm in utter shock after that Take some time to process then start to make your plan to escape. I'm so sorry you are going through this. It never ceases to amaze me how marriage vows, commitment, and respect mean absolutely nothing to some people. Next we got, sweetie, just leave him, please. That man is cold and nothing good will come out of him if you stay. Then the next person, and the problem is he's blaming you for one of the reasons, um, I mean, or is blaming you for are the ones that arise in kids, jobs, relationships, homes to maintain. You know adult stuff, he needs to grow up, divorce him, or at least separate and let him manage his own life. That's what I'm saying. He's going to realize it. When y'all break up, he's probably going to try to stay single. Or not really. He might just jump into that with that relationship with the girl. It's not going to work out. Then he's going to come back to you. And he's going to be like, but I need you. You might take him back. I hope you don't. If you end up getting the divorce process, don't even take him back. So he's going to come back to you. Because at the end of the day, he's about to realize he just lost a real woman to a sex fantasy that wasn't even real with some girl. That it was just sex. And next we got taking care of most of the daily stuff leads to nagging and so isn't carrying his share of load without guys. That's what I'm saying. Nagging is when he's just not doing his part. And so she keeps trying to get you to get you do to do your part. That's why he's nagging. The next bitch is gonna nag too, and the next one's gonna nag too. Are you stupid? How about you grow up? So literally his complaint is he can't pretend to be a little kid again with you. He's an adult, you're an adult, you have adult responsibilities, life never goes back to that college age. Carefree point, he's incredibly immature. That's what I'm saying. That's why he's in a dream with this other girl. He feels carefree with this other girl because who's caring about it? You. That's why you gotta leave because once you leave and he has to care about it, oh, he's gonna be effed. He's gonna be effed. That's gonna be your biggest get back. You don't even gotta do revenge. Just leave. That's what that is. Then, yeah, so pretty much, I, this is insane. But right, y'all, I'm gonna end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.